guys, it's your girl Sandra Okunzuma and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Guys, it's been a long time coming. So you guys have asked me a series of questions in my DM comment section. Today on this segment of 21 questions with the stars, I am going to be answering all your questions. So let's go, let's go. What are the questions you've been asking, Sandra? So um, question number one says, where are you from? Oh my goodness sometimes they say oh are you Igbo are you Hausa are you South African <laughs> but then I'm from Edo state my dad is from Edo state Benin city to be precise and my mom is from Delta state I hope I answer your question second question is can you be my mentor role model sister brother how can you help me join the industry come on guys I am still growing I don't know how to mentor people to be honest right because i know i am not perfect the only thing i can do is if you need my advice i can render you one or two but mentoring you or becoming your sister i have a sister that one she's a lot to handle i can't start having another sister but then i can advise you on what to do when i have the time to so i don't think i can mentor anybody i can only advise people and i don't need a sister but yeah i love you i can be a good person to you I can be a friend <laughs> if you need my help I can actually render it to you if I can okay and then how can I join the industry you guys ask me these questions all the time it's simple like how I started there's a platform called um, Iroko TV or rock TV so um, there they usually post um, um, they tag their producers names there the director and all of that what I usually do then is I'll send a DM to maybe the producer and then I send my um, my resume my acting resume then if I have like a show reel then I used to send to them and say oh please um, I'm an actor this is my resume this is my show reel please in case you have um, a project you would like to do next I am available for hire simple you do that in fact i used to send a lot of dms some will reply some will not reply but still we move um the third question is how did you get your first movie role oh my it wasn't easy <laughs> but then i am grateful to um mme song that's um royal arts academy um i think um during my law school days i've always wanted to be um part of the royal art family yeah so um when i saw like a post talking about um their registration for their um classes i had to sign up i became part of them and there i got to meet with mme song hmm. she knows now i'm always disturbing her ma please although uh, no, she wasn't really available at that time but i'm always like ma please i have a monologue i want to show you what i can do ma she'll be like sandra can you come another time hey god another time again i'm ready i'm at her door ma please i'm available i'm an actor i came to this lagos because of you and one day she was like okay you know what perform let me see and when i did she was like okay i'm going to get back to you for months i didn't hear from this woman i kept on bugging her phone kept on bugging her and everything until one day she was like oh sandra there's one job that i have for you come 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 i think that was high stakes that time myself debbie felix and um one other actor yes the three of us we got the role and then that was the first the first lead role that i got in the industry and i think i started from there yeah so it's not easy don't make it look like it's easy to make it look like it's easy but it's not that easy that brings me to my fourth question and it says are you married in a relationship or can you marry an actor hmm. guys see i'm not married though <laughs> i am not married okay and um in a relationship um, that one i don't understand though if you ask me ask god <laughs> and then um can you marry an actor to be honest yeah back then i used to be like oh no i want to i want to get married to someone who is in a different line of business like i'm an actor a producer i want to marry someone that maybe like in a different business a company or something just so i can learn from you you can learn from me you know that way we are not doing the same thing it's boring let me learn a different thing aside from the acting thing i'm doing and the producing thing i'm doing but now i have an open mind to things right you can find love in different places in different professions in same profession as well so it doesn't really it doesn't really matter really okay what matters is how you feel about a person if you're happy if the person understands you if you guys are compatible yeah so when that is set there are many parts leave it to god if you want to learn more to go and check google <laughs> 
and you will learn okay so um and this brings me to um the fifth question how do you get into character hmm. well first of all i watch films a lot um I watch films, I do research, I learn from people, I'm very observant, like, even when I'm not acting self, maybe I can go to a place, and then I'll just be observing people's characters and all of that, okay, so this is how this person is, when this person's head is shaking, this is how this person will react, and this guy, and this is, I'm very observant, I observe people, I can mimic people, from my childhood, I'm always mimicking people up and down, I think that also helps, and then research, and then I watch films, let's take for example, the movie I did, Pure, it was a challenging character, I had to play a mentally unstable person, and, um, and it was an emotional one, so what I did was, I watched this film, um, Miracle in Cell Number cell number seven miracle in cell number seven or something and i just copied that character i said okay this is how this this person's brain stopped growing at a certain age and when i got on set the director well this movie um pure was produced by oye Dezo. so um and then the director mr ns to be yes he was like okay you're not an imbecile what's going on here is that your brain is not functioning well. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I've seen a movie like this. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. So uh, that helps a lot. As an actor, you have to watch a lot of films. Be copying one thing or the other. Even when you're on set, they still be learning from your co-actors. At some point, you will need it, you know? That's it. That's how I get into character. Okay, so my sixth question is... My sixth question is... If you would describe life in one word, what will it be? Hmm. I would say life is an experience. Yes. Because you get to experience different things. There are good times, bad times, happy moments, sad moments. Sometimes you even feel like, ah, God, I'm praying. You are not answering this, my prayer. What is happening? What is going on? And then there are times where you are just sad. You are like, ah, ah, I want to go back to my childhood. Do you understand? Like, what's all this? But it's an experience, you know. It's not a straight journey. It's always like this, like a roller coaster. You experience good times, bad times, but then you learn. You keep growing. You keep getting better. You keep pushing yourself. You keep experiencing things, new things. Yeah. Should I say the only thing constant in life is change? Mm -hmm. You'll be adapting. You'll be changing. The ones that you don't like, your body doesn't tolerate. You drop it. You learn new things. You learn, unlearn. Just keep going. That's it. So... My seventh question is, have you ever had real feelings or crush for a guy you acted with in a movie? Hmm. Hey. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, mm, a crush, yes. Well, say feelings. Everything ended there. I'm just maybe because um from my childhood I've always been crushing on this guy on TV. Oh, I like this actor when I get to work with this guy. Eh, 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 eh. And then I guess it means the guy on set. I'm like, ah, this is my childhood crush. Oh, but then everything ended on set. So yes. Um, question number eight says, um, you are a lawyer and an actor. What made you switch and how do you balance both? Hmm. I graduated as a lawyer. I got called to the Nigerian bar. I practiced for about a year. And now, hmm, is acting, producing. So I'm not doing both at the same time, okay? So I'm focused on acting and producing for now. Yeah. When I started, I was juggling both. But now, I'm focused on acting and producing. So question number nine says, what movie made you popular? Hmm. I'll say rejected stone because all the places I've been to, everyone's like, Bam, make babe, Bam, make babe, Bam, make babe, Bam, make babe. But I loved Dear Diane. Some people be like, Oh, Diane, 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 Diane. I think on um, Yoroko TV, it was um, rejected stone, the one I did with IQ Bona. And, um, and um, that movie made me more popular because people started calling me for gigs here and there and all of that. So, yeah. That answers that question. This brings me to my next question. And it says, when will you go on a tour? Hmm. Hello. <laughs> okay, Ghana, Cameroon, Europe, America. Oh, she, very soon. Okay, guys, very soon. When I'm ready for that, you all will be the first to know. 
so um question number 13 says do you have siblings yes i do i have a brother and i have two sisters hmm and i love them so very much um question number 14 what's your personality like i feel i'm cool calm and collected i am focused i'm determined i am a go-getter i am warm i'm calm yes i'm calm and i just like to achieve my dreams my goals and aspiration in life i like to do what makes me happy um i like to be there for people i think i'm kind not like i think i know i'm kind i have this kindness in me for people so yeah that's me that's what my personality is like if you see sandra or oh, hey i'm always laughing and smiling a lot so you say ah that guy is always smiling that guy is always laughing so yeah but that doesn't mean i don't have my bad side so but then for this one this is it mm -hmm. um question number 15 what advice will you give to an upcoming actor get another side hustle for starters hmm. when i started i um i was doing this business on the side i was selling wigs and hairs and all of that because it's frustrating sometimes you get like gigs and you don't get well paid you um sometimes they don't even pay you at all especially when you are doing all those um little roles and all of that see you have to get inside also i was selling wigs i was also doing real estate work as in it wasn't easy oh so don't think it's easy at all so you don't get frustrated you'll be like ah i did this job they've not called me it's almost a month ah what am i going to do now you'll not be frustrated now this acting thing i don't think it's for me that's it mm -mm. it's for you my sister but it's just that life is a process small small you have to start from somewhere so in order not to get frustrated get a side hustle for starters don't forget that and then secondly you have to um be good at what you do yes you have to be prepared so that when the opportunity comes you just take it fast fast and then um watch a lot of movies learn things yes learn improve yourself you know be ready so when they say are you ready you say yes i was born ready so that's my advice to um an upcoming actor never forget that side also and be prepared question number 16 aside acting what else do you do okay so um i have a business it's called sally signature skincare and hair yes it's a skincare business so i do that as well and then i'm also into real estate okay um question number 16 no no 17 which would you prefer adulthood or childhood ah don't say it <laughs> don't say it childhood childhood my mother was warning me that time you are growing up too fast i said yes i want to grow up i want to leave your house i want to be on my own i want to stand by myself take care of myself for more adulthood now scam can you imagine you pay your bills you look out for yourself nobody's asking you any questions nobody's coming to rescue you ha huh? no but childhood at least who want to ask me your rent is due come and pay rent who want to ask me bring money so that we can buy food and cook for you eh nobody school fees daddy pocket money daddy this one daddy but now who will i ask <laughs> i was talking to my mother one day she was like i mean leave me alone you're an adult now <laughs> so man childhood oh hmm. childhood question number 18 what challenges do you face as an actor and as a producer Hmm. as an actor i think he is is the no like when you go for auditions yes i still go for auditions maybe close reading and then you do so well in your heart of heart you'll be like man i did this this role is mine and at the end of the day when they are ready to cast or they are doing the production <laughs> you will not be caught so that kind of thing is frustrated and then late night shoots ah my goodness i don't like it i wish we can put an end to it you see all those late night shooting like 2 a.m you're still filming 5 a.m 6 a.m ah god it's frustrating my head will just be shaking like this i'm tired but you still keep going you know i think that's passion but then it can be frustrating and tiring so that's one of the challenges i experienced when as an actor then as a producer i think funding yes because you have like a, a a good script that you would like to produce but then you need money to do it and then you're like ah who am i going to go to now 
when you are sourcing for funds and i'm telling you hey i believe in your dreams so but i don't think i have that even when the person has it all and then again as a producer i think um getting platforms to sell your content to yes i want more i want there to be i want there should be more platforms you know that you can easily sell your content to that way people want to produce more and have this access to all these platforms that you can sell directly to and all of that so those are the challenges question number 19 what are your hobbies hmm i love swimming i love dancing i love going to the gym I love um I love traveling even though traveling can be expensive <laughs> but I like it and then I like um you know doing good things just see who just came now to come and join this my video now <laughs> so, um, we had question number 20 after the rude interruption by brother Shaggy so question number 20 says what are your hobbies hmm. i love dancing i love swimming i love going to the gym although i haven't been to the gym in a while but i love going to the gym i love i love like being around family i love traveling i love what i do <laughs> i love love so um <clears throat> basically then i love cooking yeah and uh yes yes those are the ones that i know that i do from time to time so question number 21 says what are your turn on and turn off in a guy or in a person uh turn on i like um honesty i like people who are true to their words i like um people who are kind i like compassionate people i like for a guy i like when a guy smells good <laughs> And um, <clears throat> for my turn off, ha, ah, body odor, I hate it. Ah, no, don't do it. Smelly mouth, no, I don't like it at all. Cancelled. So, um, <clears throat> I think at the top of my head, I think my turn off instantly is when someone is thinking around me. Like that smell just turns me off instantly. And yeah, then this one is a bonus question. It's not part of the 21 questions. It says, what is your most memorable experience so far in life? Uh, I think it was when I was a teenager. Hmm. I'm still looking for that guy, Mofe. If anybody knows Mofe, tell him I'm looking for him. So this was what that guy did. So he liked me then. And whenever I'm passing their streets, he want to talk to me. You know, as a fine girl, I'll just be snobbing the guy. Eh, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Eh, 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 eh. That was that one day. Oh. I was making Shakara a past by their estate. Do you know what that idiot did to me? He unleashed their dog to chase me. Oh, ma, from Botty Bikin, I removed slippers, start to tears. I can never forget that one. And one of my other memorable experiences was when um, uh, my dad would put us all together in the sitting room and start cracking jokes. He told us about his um i think his secondary school that they had this class prefect <laughs> that anytime they come to school late the class prefect would just be seizing their shoes seizing their shoes so in benin um shoe is called butter so it would just be seizing their butter seizing their butter and they had one indian math teacher then and then the math teacher is always looking at this guy he will enter the class late because he's outside seizing seizing uh batters and all of that so when he got to the class late one time the math, the math teacher is an indian man he set one mathematics question on the board and said he should come and solve it. He could not solve it. The Indian man faced him and said, Ah, season butter, season butter, you know, but simple mathematics, you do not know. So that thing used to really crack me up. And that's like one of the memories I have of my dad. And yeah. So guys, I hope I was able to entertain you and answer your questions. Thank you for watching this. Please, like I said, I'm just starting this channel. Support me by subscribing. So support me by turning on your notifications so that anytime i post anything like this you just get it pam so guys thank you for watching i remain your girl sandra kunzua and this section there eh, 
we are going to be having more stars we'll be asking them different questions you can also drop the questions that you want us to ask and then you also um put your favorite stars mm -hmm. like your celebrity that you want us to interview or you want me to interview so yeah i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready have a great day bye -a.